in this video we shall discuss about uh, Hermitian and skew Hermitian matrices um, this is this topic this particular topic is not as important as the uh, symmetric and skew symmetric matrices but the questions uh, whatever questions we discussed in uh, symmetric and skew symmetric matrix can also be extended to this topic but coming to the gate they have not asked any question uh, from this area so what i'll try to do is i'll just explain you i'll just give you some examples and some definitions about what hermitian and skew hermitian matrix is but then we are not going to get into the problems because it, it is generally not asked in any of the competitive exams but in some textbooks uh, they are discussed that is why i am discussing it here i'll just give you the definitions here okay so uh, if you have uh, a z as x plus i y where x and y are real numbers and i is an imaginary number i is square root of minus 1 if i is imaginary and x and y are uh, real numbers then such a combination of the numbers is generally called as uh, complex number so if z can be written as x plus i y where x and y are real numbers and i is an imaginary number then such a combination that z the number z is called as complex number okay and now uh, if i have z like this x plus i y then the conjugate of this complex number can be obtained by negating the imaginary part which means wherever you have the imaginary part before that imaginary part if you put a minus right minus in the sense you know change the symbol of it if it would have been x minus i y then you make it plus so if you change the sign of uh, the imaginary part in a uh, in the uh, com complex number then such a number which you obtain is called as conjugate of the original number for example if z equal to x plus i y is a complex number then z equal to x minus i y is conjugate of the complex number z which is represented as z bar right so this is the basic definition about the conjugate so you can remember this uh, this this particular term conjugate of a complex number we are not going to use this anywhere i mean apart from this topic i don't think that we'll see this again in any of the gate syllabus right so just remember this term conjugate and now conjugate of a matrix see this is the conjugate of a complex number one number and similarly we can take a matrix and we can find out the conjugate of a matrix so how do we get the conjugate of a matrix is you take the matrix and you take every element of it and replace the element with the corresponding conjugate of the number right conjugate complex number for example if i have the matrix like this 1 minus 2i 3 4 maybe 1 plus 2i something like this hmm? if i have a number like this now if i take each number and if i replace the number with the conjugate of it then the resulting matrix is called conjugate of the matrix right so if i take this matrix and if i take each number and replace the result replace the number with the conjugate of it which means i'll take 1 minus 2i and replace it with 1 plus 2i and then i'll take 1 plus 2i and replace it with 1 minus 2i right now if this is called a this is called conjugate of the matrix a so conjugate of a matrix can be obtained by replacing every number with its conjugate number right and one more thing you should observe is whenever a number doesn't have any imaginary part then even if you take the conjugate of the number it is going to be the same number okay so since there is no imaginary part here conjugate of 3 is going to be 3 conjugate of 4 is going to be 4 got it and the next one is this i think you understood this if i take a then conjugate of the matrix a generally represented with a bar is nothing but taking each number and finding a, and replacing it with the conjugate of the number right and now the next one is transposed conjugate of a matrix which means it is represented by theta transposed conjugate of a matrix is take the matrix find the conjugate of it and then you apply the transpose so conjugate of it and then you apply transpose you can do this in any order either you take the transpose first 
and then apply the conjugate or you take the conjugate and then apply the transpose so whatever it is the meaning of this uh, you know this definition is transposed conjugate of a matrix is take the matrix and apply two operations on it one is find the conjugate of it and the other is find the transpose of it apply both the operations in any order then the resulting matrix whichever you get is called as transposed conjugate of the matrix which is represented with theta right a power theta now a power theta here is i have already found out the conjugate isn't it now i will find out the transpose now if i find out the transpose of it then it is going to be 1 plus 2i 4 3 1 minus 2i you know how to find the transpose replacing the rows by columns right therefore uh, therefore what can we say about this so if there is a matrix if i replace all the elements with the conjugate of the conjugate numbers then i get the conjugate matrix and then if i take the transpose of it then i get the transposed conjugate of a matrix right and now based on these definitions two special matrices are defined so one matrix is called as hermitian matrix and the other one is called as skew hermitian matrix i'll just show you what is hermitian and skew hermitian here so it is just like symmetric and skew symmetric matrices if you remember hermitian matrix it is similar to that concept okay so hermitian matrix means if a matrix is equal to the conjugate transpose conjugate of the matrix then it is called as hermitian matrix and skew hermitian skew hermitian matrix is if a matrix is equal to negation of the conjugate complex number then it is called as skew hermitian right so what i suggest is you just remember these definitions maybe um, they might ask you in the interviews but then i, I never heard uh, that these questions are asked either in the interviews also but just for the sake of completeness i am defining it so just remember the definitions and these uh, terms okay um, there are no questions as of now on this austin gate that is why i am not going to stress on this topic more uh, as we have stressed on this uh, you know symmetric and skew symmetric there are lots of questions asked in gate about symmetric and skew symmetric matrices but then there are no questions here right so i'm just defining them and i'm leaving it here okay if you are interested you can find out some more problems on that okay fine